Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. We're back at the Puzzle Gauntlet. This will be the second video, part two, running through the gauntlet, and we have a few more battles to take on before we get to the end and the uh, excellent prizes for the special advanced supports pack and others for a great support draws. Let's play this change of pace round three. This one should be pretty easy because we'll play pretty much the protectile meta team to fly through this let's go ahead and grab beta ray bill and uh, scroll on down to everyone's favorite special tile manipulator in the four star realm and of course that is polaris that's uh right down in this realm here and then who else should we grab i think um we can you know what let's grab somebody else that uh puts protectiles out every time you play an ability you know what magic's a great idea but i just never get any action out of red guardian let's try that his yellow ability should do just about the same thing it won't be as many protectiles here we go so we got to watch out for yellow because cloak and dagger with their yellow can remove enemy special tiles that'll be uh, taking them away from our team obviously we don't want that let's start with blue we want that yellow up there. Oh, man. Going to be tough. Match four in black, but it's much more important to get yellow going here. Actually, it's not. Yellow is passive on our team. <laughs> I was thinking of Falcon, uh, four-star Sam Wilson, because of the uh, yellow ability. I was going to play him. We'll just get our blue going from Vader Ray Bill. Once we get that played, everything they do... For the damage is going to uh, proc out another protectile. Extra move in yellow. Very good. And here we go. Clash of the Worthy. Fortified. Four turn. Countdown tile. I don't know why it has to be fortified. I love playing Bill. I hate playing against him. Hate might be a strong word, but he's tough to play against. Let's see if we can keep these protectiles going. There's 5 out of 14 so far. And if they have uh, more of a cascade match or anything like that, that's really going to speed up the protectiles generating on the board. On up to 9. They're going to play their yellow right here and what can we do let's reduce the number they're going to put on the board even though we lose one we're up to four blue if we get that blue match on top we can play bill's blue again or we could play polaris and her blue but in this case i think bill's is going to be more valuable since uh not going to get a whole lot out of the stun that polaris would have provided and there we go so easy beta ray bill just uh, OP, especially with Protect Tiles. What do we get from this one? Have 16 web tiles at once. So once again, characters that create a lot of web tiles automatically when they match um, their colors or certain colors, that's uh, going to help our team because web tiles are not owned by one side or the other. There's no enemy or uh, friendly web tiles. And so they've got four-star Peter Parker, Spider-Man 2099. Let's go ahead and grab a five-star on our team this time, and we'll go with um, we'll go with our own Peter Parker five-star though. He creates web tiles every turn that there aren't any. I don't know how efficient that's going to be for our team because uh, he doesn't make any more once there are four on the board or more than three or whatever. But I want to grab a specific character. That uh, really is pretty good. Newer Spider-Verse character. And that is going to be Silk. Let's see if we can find her here. What's her? Let's just do this. We'll play her color scheme. Yellow, blue, and green. Is it? Nope, not green. Yellow, blue, and black. There we go. Silk on the board. And uh, should we play our own Spider-Man 2099? Let's do this. Let's go for a different character. Get your colors figured out. Let's 
There we go. Agent Venom just like they have on their team. And fight. Okay. So, have 16 web tiles on the board at once. That's going to be tough. Doesn't matter who we target once again. There's an extra move on the board. Let's set it off with this purple. Just to get the purple removed from the board for the most part. Nice. And big shot from red. So really what do we want to probably target here is blue for silk. Since uh, she'll place web tiles on the board in one shot. Parker's blue on our team also places web tiles. But we're already at 5 out of 16. The problem with silk might be a really bad choice, Rick. Because when there's a certain number on the board, she actually removes them and deals damage for for doing that. We'll see how this goes. Maybe if it takes too long, we're going to have to substitute her out for a different team. <laughs> Extra move in purple again. Getting lucky with the board in general is great. So what are we at here? 5 out of 16. We can't play Parker's Blue because that would remove web tiles when there's a certain number and stun that whole enemy team. Uh, again, I don't know specifically if they are stunnable. So let's go for Yellow with Silk here. And she will um, add some special tiles to the board, but more so increase the value if you already had some on the board. Yeah, removing those specials, that's going to be tough. Let's see what we get here. One fortified web tile. Total recall. Adds tiles of a type that you'd like. Let's go for protects here just so that we extend our livelihood. So we're up to 10 out of 16. And she's going to create some again. Create 7 strength 79 tiles of the chosen type and converts 5 to fortified web tiles look how close we are we're going to play it again just for fun and we are at 15 out of 16 already so silk's going to remove some from the board let's see can we get 2099 or four star spidey to match their colors and therefore add a web tile or two they did match yellow we got blue. Oh, man, check this out. How lucky. We shot up to 14 out of 16, but got blue. Once again, our choice for Silk ended up working out because of her inexpensive abilities and uh, really could have backfired. Cool. Glad that went really easily. I think 2099 and Parker on your own team, 4-star, are probably the way to go there since they create web tiles that will stay on the board until you play... 2099's black ability will remove a bunch. You don't need to even do that. Change of pace, round five, have 20 charged tiles at once. That's cool. So they have five star Storm on their team. She creates a black charged tile every turn. Four star Thor creates charged tiles with all three of her abilities. So we should almost just let them get those colors. The, the, Drawback is going to be green for each team because that'll destroy tiles and if they're charged we don't want them to be destroyed. So there's some really great characters that deal with charged tiles and um, Black Bolt creates some. He will quickly stop though once there's four on the board but maybe let's, uh, let's bring him anyway. We're going to bring Storm on our own team and then let's get four star Negasonic. She uh, has been pretty fun to play at different times and uh, can really do some great stuff with charged tiles. Let's see how it goes. All right. Probably doesn't matter who we target again here, but we'll see. Match in blue. Honestly, we should probably let the enemy team get blue matches because that'll be four star Thor's realm for stuns. I don't like to get stunned, but uh, that's going to add a lot of charge tiles to the board. We want to get yellow big time because Storm's yellow can charge a whole lot of tiles on the board that you um, that you choose. 
Match four in green would remove a charge tile, so we'll just do it as a match three. More blue, so they're at six. We're at eight out of 20, nine out of 20 charged tiles. Aurora Totalis will basically choose a color tile and then convert six team up into basic tiles of that color and then convert three of those into charged tiles. So we might as well wait on that a little bit and just get a bunch more yellow. Maybe we could pull. Did you see that? I was going to say maybe we could play it twice in a row and then we got crazy cascade of yellow. That's absurd. We could play it twice. Team up tiles on the board and we're at 11 out of 20. We'd get six total out of this for 17 out of 20. Hmm. Maybe not quite ready to do that yet. I'm afraid they're going to make this black match. We'd lose a couple of charge tiles there, so let's just take the hit on one. Okay, so Negasonic is uh, maybe a little bit of a backfire here because of the way she removes tiles when a charge tile is matched. Kind of fun for the challenge, but I don't want to be here all night doing this battle. We've got a lot more to get to. X-Force Wolverine just removed a bunch of green. That actually is going to help our team quite a bit. So, let's see. Negasonic's resistor ability would also swap three pairs of tiles for every black or blue tile swapped. Converts one into a charged tile. So I don't think we're going to get as much out of that as otherwise. Let's do this. Let's play Aurora Totalis and we're going to choose blue. Everything's kind of spread out a little bit, adds more blue to the board. We're at 13 out of 20. All right, let's um, try to protect those charge tiles. Yep, now Storm got lucky, has a bunch of black. I think it's a guarantee that they're going to play Surgical Strike again because it costs 11 as opposed to Gathering Clouds because it only costs 9. When they have enough AP to play the higher cost of two abilities of the same color, they will always choose the ability of the higher cost. So, we have to take a little gamble on what X-Force Wolverine will choose to destroy for the color. I imagine, let's just take, hmm, no way to really safeguard some of these. Let's do this. Surgical Strike, that could hurt. He chose green again, that's really pretty lucky. Yeah, we gain charge tiles and lose them. We need to get red for Negasonic. We're up to 12 out of 20. All right, let's go red and green. Striking distance, we'll add a few more. And there we go. 17 out of 20 by taking that stun. Let's see. We need three more without losing charge tiles on the board. No guarantees here. This looks okay. They could match blue. They take yellow. Perfect. Deal with it does team damage let's do it okay that countdown tile when master destroyed creates a number of charged tiles on the board i don't see a way to get it matched right away and turn or two until storm comes back eighteen out of twenty we've got so much yellow Man, we need one more turn for Storm. I don't see any moves that safeguards all the black charge tiles out there. Hmm. Let's take a shot. Do a swap. Do another swap. And Negasonic gets the charged tiles on the board that we need to win with. That was actually pretty... Lucky but impressive.
Okay, on to the final couple of battles. This one's going to be tough. Bending the rules against Beta Ray Bill and Bishop. The rule is have 14 friendly protectiles at once on the board. That is super tough, but I think we have a little bit of a advantage. Um, whereas the on my turn, on our turn, we have an increased chance of tiles being blue. That's going to help them, but it's also going to help four star black panther i was gonna try with star lord and, and i did unsuccessfully thought i could use his purple to steal enemy specials and uh, over to our side and got closer but not all the way i think panther's the way to go we'll uh, go ahead and boost up yellow and blue and i think for a team up we'll look at the at the list of options here not a lot of options we would get strike tiles from polaris but no protect tiles except well we'll we'll bring along the uh beta ray bill blue ability to use against them so have 14 friendly protect tiles at once i think it's all about getting blue and keeping it away from them panthers blue is uh pretty good at adding fortified blue tiles to the board yellow drops blue let's go we have to be careful, they only have yellow and blue equipped for Beta Ray, and then for the future, 10 yellow. Gotta watch out because Bishop can convert an enemy special tile to his own protectiles, that means they will uh, steal them away from our side. Alright. There we go, getting lucky with the tiles dropping from the top being blue. We can play our ability once, let's not do it yet, let's wait until we ha can probably play it twice in a row it's a cost of eight so 16 blue sounds like a lot but again odds that uh, blue tiles drop from the top are greatly enhanced here we're up to 17 now cool okay so what do we get kinetic shield creates four each that's only eight so far how are we going to get so many more protect tiles on the board well we got to get panthers yellow going i you know i talk a ton about his uh protector of wakanda ability and we almost have enough yellow how are we going to get it let's line it up this way see if they take it or not clash of the worthy will create more enemy protectiles on the board We're not too worried about that but you definitely want to wait and play yellow when it is safe to do so and check this out they've got nine yellow against us that's super dangerous um like a match four right here they would get 10 yellow and then basically remove my protector of wakanda uh, fortified or not fortified it's not fortified repeater tile it's only fortified if you have someone on the team that can do that for you so i think i want to let them get a yellow tile Hey, we have 24 blue though that's just a ton there we go they got yellow so now we want to go ahead and play kinetic shield a couple of times they're going to remove one of these protect tiles we know that but at least it won't be the um gotta lose one there but it won't be our repeater tile that we lose Okay, I think the strategy is working. Let's see. Here we go. Not any. Well, there's a yellow match on the board, isn't there? So there's a risk that our repeater would go right in that lineup. And as much as I hate to lose another fortified tile, I think that's worth it. At least our own protectiles are saving us health. And here we go. Protector of Wakanda. Hopefully that goes on the board. Oh, man, it went in a really bad location, Rick. I didn't check again to make sure it was safe. At least we can play two of them. Good. It went into a nice spot there. Another kinetic shield. And we are up to 11 out of 14. Here we go. Probably going to lose that one repeater on the left side. Can we set up matches that they have to take? You know what? Let's just take it before they do. 
going to build up our yellow to play again. We're working on blue again. Eleven out of fourteen. One more turn. We're going to get some. You know what? We don't have any allies on our team, and that's what makes those special tiles become fortified. Oh man, I forgot about that part of the protector of Wakanda. Is if two other allies are still in the fight, he generates tiles of a certain strength, and they are fortified. So while yellow will be helping us, it actually isn't going to create fortified tiles like usual. Man, that's tough. Because that means we just have to get a bunch more blue before we lose a lot of our fortified, fortified tiles that are out there. 11 out of 14. If we get blue played again, that will basically guarantee it. Match four in blue, let's not do that. It will do it as a match three. Hate to lose the fortification there. We're at 11. Guess the fortification doesn't matter nearly as much as the protectiles themselves. 10 out of 14 though, perfect. Kinetic shield. And Panther gets the win against the tough Beta Ray Bill and Bishop team. And look at that. We get the first great reward. It is an advanced support token guaranteed uh, chance at uh, really good support. And All right, guys. I've taken a couple of chances and it uh, wasn't successful. I just know the strategy is going to work out in changing the game against 5-star Thanos and Patch Wolverine. We have to try to get through this with Star-Lord. I believe his purple ability to steal strike tiles from the enemy is going to help out a ton, but we got to be careful about Thanos and his own purple because it locks up the board and doesn't allow strike tiles to be placed even when they do their own ability. We need to let them get green so that they can play Berserker Rage, but only when the time is right. And that is when I have enough yellow to heal and purple to steal strike tiles. Getting a good drop on yellow to begin things is, uh, that's really helpful. How do I set up purple matches? Well, let's just take a blue. Maybe purple will drop right in the row there. It did. That was pretty lucky. We'll take this one and preserve a couple of strikes. And get some yellow. Good. Okay, so Thanos is up to six purple, and I kind of want him to play his countdown and waste it a little bit. And maybe they'll get that green match over there. Let's uh, get this blue lines up a purple. Cool. Oh, wow. Extra cool. Extra move. And we're sitting pretty good. 16 means we can play something bad twice. And we can steal up to four random enemy strike tiles when that happens. So let's save that. We have yellow to heal a little bit with, not a lot. So let's take this purple. Maybe they will take the green match over there. Okay, they'll take that one. Deal dealing a little more damage. And they just have to get more green. Can I do a move that's not the green match? We have six out of 20 strike tiles. We have this uh, Iron Proficiency uh, team-up from Polaris that adds a bunch of strike tiles to the board, but I'd really rather win naturally. Is there any other move besides the green? I want them to take it. I don't see it. 15 red. We're going to take a big hit from best there is. It does add some strike tiles to the board for both teams. We're up to 10. So what do we want to do here? Um, let's steal some strike tiles for our team. We're up to 11. Now we can play green, bit of both. We'll destroy some areas of the board, but kind of drop our special tiles to the bottom. You know what? Let's heal first. Little burst heal that creates some charge tiles. Bit of both. Doesn't destroy our special tiles. Hopefully some of them will drop safely lower. Okay, not bad. And then green is now charged 
for a little more um, AP when they make a match. Got to get them to match green, though. Uh, I guess we'll take a chance at losing that strike tail down at the bottom. Disaster. That, uh, oh good, this countdown has to be removed because if they play the green ability while that countdown is out there, they won't be able to create any strike tiles and I won't be able to steal them. Things are looking pretty good here, although health is going to be a factor. They're going to create strike tiles for me on purple. Looks like things are spread out pretty well. Again, there's real, really no match except for this green. We'll take it. Oh, man. Lucky on the yellow. And we're going to be careful not to do anything but that. That's a lot of strike tiles. That's 15. Back down to 14. Check it out. Something bad. Steals a few strikes. Let's go ahead and... 18 out of 20. Star-Lord, you got the victory without using a team-up tile. Finally, after a couple of fails, he got the job done. Fantastic. We have finally beaten the puzzle gauntlet for the uh, August version. Get a uh, basically a uh, epic level reward here, and um, it's not a five star support right now, but it's a draw for one, and uh, really nice hit there. The only thing we're going to do today, we're not going to draw any of the um, uh, normal tokens, but I think it'll be fun to go ahead and draw from the puzzle gauntlet tokens that we got today with the chance at getting the Carol's Communicator pack one in 40 odds. At that five star would be fantastic. One in eight odds at a four star. And it's got some pretty good effects. Let's see. Draw number one. Just some red ISO. Draw number two. And number three. Just a two star. We'll take today's daily deal just in case. And another two star. Okay, well, two more days and a chance to get that special token is uh, uh, something I'm looking forward to. Let's go down to, nope, let's go to the recruit area. Oops, I don't know what I clicked on. Good thing it was just ISO. Recruit store. I wanted to, to make a draw from the masterful Shang-Chi store because... Um, Every single day you get a discounted draw, and I've got 11 tokens here, and uh, kind of a surprise, we'll just do this at 1 in 250 odds at a chance that 5-star cover would be great, but we can also have a 1 in 13 chance at 4-stars, so decent odds at getting a 4-star with odds at magic being boosted compared to the other characters. Let's go. Got uh, Psylocke there for a 3-star. Probably a couple of three stars here. I hope we get a chance at a four star. If not, that amazing purple emblem. We did get a four star. It's not even a token video, but the viewer luck came through again. Three, two, one. And it's a hit on Talos. He is a champion, so that'll be a nice champ level reward. Can we get more gold from these draws? As we work our way down toward the last chance here. We did get gold. More Psylocke. Last token. Just a two star. And that's why I want to do these every day that I can. Because the discounted daily deal. Just in case. Nope, not today. Just a two star. But uh, at 1 in 250 odds. The more draws you take, the better your chances. And uh, he looks like a lot of fun. And I did want to point out... Our next video should be, now that we've finished the Puzzle Gauntlet, should be introducing Shang-Chi. He is a really fun sounding character, well designed, reminds us a lot of 4 star Karnak, Karnak plus way more. Be looking for that, hit the like button if you want to see that coming up next. Subscribe if you haven't yet so far, and we'll see you in the next one.